What's good everyone, it's Swinji here, and what happens after you unlock atomic camo in this game? The answer is not a lot, there's nothing to do. You could do these challenges, but I've completed almost every seasonal challenge without even meaning to. I have not even looked at these, I looked at these for the first time about five minutes ago, and I've completed almost all of them with the exception of these two. If I was desperate, I could go out and get another 90 or so shotgun kills and another finishing move, but I'm not desperate. It may come naturally, probably not though, because I don't really want to pick up a shotgun. You could do the, you know, the 100% completionist modes of going down that route. Doesn't really appeal to me either. But like, what is there to do once you've got it? And I think this is a massive, massive issue because the game to play isn't fun. It's not a, a sort of game now in its current state where you can sit down and play it for three hours in an evening and have fun just playing and I think part of that is the game is horrendous and it's just not fun to play and part of it is it's just not it feels tired it feels really tired to, to do that now. Pub stomping I personally like multiplayer if you have come across this channel before, you'll notice most of my content is on multiplayer as opposed to Warzone. I enjoy multiplayer, but it has to be an engaging experience and it's just not. And maybe, you know, as a gaming society, we've moved away from just playing multiplayer and we need to be achieving something, which is fine, but give me something to achieve. Give me a prestige system that isn't seasonal. And I think that's one of the biggest things I want to see going forward is give me 10 prestiges of 70 levels that I need to grind through. Like, that's fine. I have no issue resetting and going back to level 1 10 times. I enjoy that. I think it's ingrained within the Call of Duty community to enjoy that in some sick, twisted, self-loathing way. It's just what we do. But this isn't it. Sure, I can get to Prestige Master at level 200 and then I just keep levelling up and levelling up and levelling up with no reward. Say I complete all of these and I get a little calling card and a tear skip. Like, there's no benefit to that. Like, let me go out and earn Prestiges. Let me go out and show someone that, yeah, I've completed 10 Prestiges. I don't know why they took it away. And don't get me wrong, I understand with the Battle Pass comes different changes and you want to see different challenges and you want to see different stuff within each season. You could still have these challenges within each season or Battle Pass, it just wouldn't be linked to the prestige system. I think Call of Duty needs to have a hard look at itself because I don't think they care about multiplayer. Um, that's not an unpopular opinion by any stretch of the imagination and I understand to a point why they wouldn't care about multiplayer, it's by far one of their smallest modes now in comparison to Warzone, but you're going to lose a core portion of your audience. And I think it benefits them to make good multiplayer games because of Warzone now. People will buy the game if they hear that Vanguard or the associated Call of Duty for that year or two years, however long it may be going into the future, is a good game. If they hear it's a good game, it's a great way to level up guns, it's fun to level up the guns that way, they're going to get far more people in that game buying it instead of just kind of playing plunder, trying to level up weapons to XP glitches. If they funnel them into a game that's enjoyable, they might not stay as long as someone like me or someone like just plays multiplayer. They might stay for however long it takes them to get five guns leveled up, the guns they want to use at the time, whatever the meta is at the time. And then they go back to Warzone where they play loads of Warzone, but they're happy because they got their guns leveled up, they can use what they wanted and they don't feel at a disadvantage. They might come back every now and then when the meta shifts, play it again and have fun playing it. They might even play a few extra games here and there, like there's nothing there's no downside to making a good multiplayer with how Warzone is linked to it. It only benefits them. And I hope that we see that moving forward over the next kind of development cycles. Obviously Modern Warfare 2 that comes out this year, I'm expecting much of the same. I have incredibly low expectations. But as they hopefully move away from that annual cycle, I'm hoping we get to see something a bit better and we even get to see the prestige system return, although I don't know if that will. I'd be interested to know if they have um, actual proof to see how many people complete these. 
and how many, you know, if you could see in the trends if there's like a conceited effort to go out and try to complete some of these. I'd, I'd be super interested to see some of the, the data they collect through here. I can understand why they have seasonal challenges, it makes a lot of sense for people that like to get 100% completions and stuff like that and it, there's nothing wrong with the seasonal challenges, it's just they could easily be along a more traditional prestige system and it would work fine. I don't really know how this video turned into a, a run. I honestly pressed record meaning to jump into some Das House and play some games but it didn't happen. I don't really have anything to add to that. We're not going to play Das House. I'll save that for another video when I have maybe more of a grip on my sanity. I played two games of Das House um, today and I've not touched Vanguard since I got the PTRS gold um, like last week and it just made me want to tear my hair out. And the other maps don't feel fun because everyone's going for long shots or for specific camera challenges, which I get and that is not an issue before someone comments that you told us to do this. Yes, I know, that's fine, but because all there is to do is to unlock camos, there's just nothing to do, ironically, in terms of not unlocking camos. Nobody plays the objective, nobody moves, there's just not a lot to do. I could go and unlock the zombies camos, but um, a lot of you made your voices very clear and said that it was not worth it, so thank you for saving me some pain there. I honest to god might check out the like Champion Hill. I've not touched that, and that was like their flagship game mode they led with in the alpha. So maybe we'll have a look at that, but God, Vanguard is is not a good game. And it probably will stay as not a good game until the new Call of Duty comes out and we start this entire cycle all over again. But I hope you have a good day, guys. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.